Moving on now, India has become the worst hit country by COVID-19 reporting the world's highest number of daily fresh cases for the last 19 days. The Indian Health Ministry has reported 848 deaths and nearly 61,000 infections in a day. Globally, the virus has infected over 23.6 million people and claimed more than 813,000 lives. This report has more. As the new coronavirus outbreak in the Americas slow, India has become the virus epicenter with the number of cases and deaths continuing to surge drastically. The caseload in the country of over 1 billion people has crossed 3.1 million with over 58,000 deaths. In Jamaica, the world's fastest man could not outrun the virus as Usain Bolt has tested positive for the coronavirus. With some governments developing vaccines, WHO Chief Tedros Ghebreyesus has urged other countries to join forces. Last week, I sent a letter to all member states requesting them to join the vaccine arm of the ACT Accelerator. I'm pleased to announce that as of today, 172 countries are now engaging with the COVAX Global Vaccines Facility, which has both the largest and most diverse COVID-19 vaccine portfolio in the world. In Europe, France has reported a rise in COVID-19 deaths and cases as authorities scramble to curb the spread. Meanwhile, Spain has reimposed restrictions on mobility and mass gatherings after an increase in nationwide caseload. The restrictions were relaxed too soon in Spain, with very short intervals between each phase. Theoretically, there should be 15 days in transition, but it only took a few days or less than a week to move into the next phase. Besides, Spain has limited capacity when tracing close contact, so the virus is said to spread if they cannot be found. In Asia, mainland China has reported 14 new imported cases with no domestic transmissions in the ninth consecutive day. South Korea reported fresh cases under 300 for the second day with 280 infections overnight. Over in Australia, cases are up from the previous day but under peak levels. In New Zealand, lockdown in the country's largest city, Auckland, has been extended to the end of the week.